If it was me, I would have done this. Oh, okay. You don't want to go to Cheesecake Factory? Great. I'm going to take you back home. Have a good night. We have yet another video. And this video has been circulating around and I'm going to throw my two cents in the, in the pond about what I think of this situation. Without further ado, let's roll the clip. Right. Let me just get the door for you. Okay. He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out this car. What? Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? Look at, look. Are you? You're recording me? Yeah. What did he say? Oh. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? She belongs to the streets. I'm, I'm fine with talking about it, <laughs> even in front of them. Oh okay. yeah, I want to talk about it. Yeah, come on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we gonna talk about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So, so yes, let's talk about it. Let's talk you, about it. So you expect a man to go all out on the first date? Is that right? Yeah. I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean, when you take out a beautiful woman <laughs> and you're courting her, because I, I get courted. <laughs> <laughs> so you're courting her, right? You're supposed to take care of her. What do you mean by that? You're I'm supposed to cover her. You're supposed to protect her, cherish her, treat her well, right? Yeah. And, and I, to do. I agree. Not I, I went into factory. this date as I expect, uh, with the expectations for myself, to keep you safe, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to respect you, mm -hmm. uh, to pay for, for your food, of course, pick you up, of course, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just treat you like a gentleman, which I believe I have done. I mean, you, yeah, and, you've been pretty and nice, then, but I mean, and then cheesecake factory. I. On the other hand, have certain expectations for a girl I go out with on the first date. I expect her to be respectful too. I expect her to be cooperative. Mm -hmm. and, and at least, you know. Uh, what did I do that wasn't cooperative? Well, I mean, like, even like uh, when we were walking to the car, uh, you wouldn't uh, put your hand around my arm or anything like that or hold my hand. I mean, it's too early for that. Okay. Huh? I yeah, don't know you. I yet. can respect that. Okay. I can respect that. Okay. When uh, I got to your apartment to pick you up, uh, you didn't want to invite me in. I can respect that too. Just, we're not again. I don't we're not know there. yet. Okay. I don't know yet. And then, but I, I mean, mean, I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do as a woman. But I, I mean, got myself all made nothing up. Nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Right? Yes, there's a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Okay, well, look at... I mean... Look at my plan, where we were going to go originally. See, now that's that's where that's where we should have went. All right, right there. Call see, him. Call him. No. What do you mean, no? See, I, I specifically I you told you, both yesterday and this morning, that I'd come to pick you up at 4 a.m. At 4 p.m., right? Mm. And I got to your place at 4 p.m. You didn't even come downstairs for another hour got him we fucking got him <laughs> and so i was waiting downstairs I for an hour right? but i wasn't expecting for work to take me so long i got home a little late and like i said i don't know you well enough to invite you up into my apartment and that is not possible and that's why i'm saying i'm thinking okay if we're not there 
in the relationship to you know meet uh, at your apartment then maybe we're not ready in a relationship for such a huh? nice fancy rela uh, restaurant as Aria especially if I'm paying for the whole thing which I'm still willing to do I, mean, I would have been okay. but if we're late I mean I told I mean, we you twice it wasn't that late I mean, we literally left your place at the time the reservation was good, supposed to be oh and I specifically said four because maybe we could get there early and even get, have some time to get to know each other on the way there and while we're in the parking lot. I mean, and we, waiting for a reservation. We can still get to know each other. Isn't there another restaurant you can call that, like, you know, the no. equivalent to that? I mean, I, I you, you don't said, understand. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing wrong I, with I will that. die. That's okay. embarrassing. Listen, I, as I said, I have very specific <laughs> certain expectations oh, for no. now. I can tell it's not gonna be there. I, ha and maybe we're not right for each other. So the first thing we've got to notice is this is a woman who is very entitled. But if you look at this video, you see that she is not that bad looking of a woman. But what makes her unattractive is her entitlement. And then she has the nerve to say women that look like this don't go to Cheesecake Factory. Well, I haven't been to Cheesecake Factory in a, in a very long time, but I will say they have good food. A date is supposed to be an outing where you can get to know each other. And I love what he said. He said, we were going to go to a different restaurant, but you were late. You were late. We're going to Cheesecake Factory because of you, not because of me. I was at your house at four o'clock. You weren't ready. Women run from accountability like a broke person runs from bail. She knew that if she had been on time, she would have went to a better restaurant. And the fact that this guy was sitting in his car talking to her, if it was me, it would have been a one minute video. If it was me, I would have done this. Oh, okay. You don't want to go to Cheesecake Factory? Great. I'm going to take you back home. Have a good night. And then I would have dropped her off, let left, Blocked her number, never talked to her again. And this is what you have to do, fellas. You have to value yourself as a man so much that you do not allow or tolerate any disrespect from anyone. What she did was not only entitlement, but disrespect. Complete waste of this guy's time. Like she could have said, you know what? I'm running late, let's reschedule. I don't want to waste your time. Maybe we can do the next day or another week. But the fact that she got into this gun's color and then was picky and choosy over a date area that she wasn't even paying for, picked her up, he took her to the outing, he opened, he was going to open her car door. More than likely, he would have pulled out her chair he was going to pay for the date anyway. And see, this is this is how you know if a woman is really into you guys. If a woman is truly into you, she will not care where you take her. You can take her to Cheesecake Factory, Outback, Red Lobster, Olive Garden, Ruth's Chris, Del Frisco's. You can take her anywhere. If a woman really likes you, she just wants to be in your company. She won't care if you go for a picnic dinner in the middle of the woods at a campsite overlooking a scenic mound. If she really likes you, she really won't care where you go. She just wants to be in your presence, soaking up your energy, being at home with you. If she really likes you, she would have got out of that car. She would have gone out of that car and said, you know what? Sweet, we're at Cheesecake Factory. But the fact that she didn't get out of the car was a red flag. The fact that she didn't want to go in the Cheesecake Factory, red flag number two. And then she was acting surprised. He said, all right, I'm going to take you home. 
You want to go home? I'll take you home. I ha and maybe we're not right for each other. So respectfully, I'm oh, gonna no, just drop didn't. you off at home. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah, I'm up. So you just want to call it a night? I mean, yeah. isn't there some kind of compromise or something? Uh, Ladies, can you believe this? I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, but I, I, if I don't feel respected, I, I am mean, not gonna go through I mean, with the rest come of the day. On. Well, I mean, you are serious. You're really leaving. Yeah, I mean, you didn't want this place anyway, right? I mean, I mean, I understand that I was late. I understand that. I understand that I could have been a bit more cooperative. You have, you made some good points. That's why I'm willing to compromise. Are you sure you want to go home? Uh, I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a, a lot of expectations for a first date, but I've already set them and you've broken everyone. Oh so, my God. I'm sorry, we're dropping you off home. Strike number three. She was on social media. And a lot of women, y'all don't have any home training. Y'all don't know how to enjoy a day and turn your phone on. That is the most unattractive thing that a woman can do on a date is be on her phone. At least act like you've been out of the house. Nowadays, that's the problem. Everybody lives on social media. If it's not on social media, it didn't happen. The most attractive thing a woman can do when she's on a date with you is have her phone on. Fellas, value yourself as a man, value your time, value yourself, and don't let women walk all over you. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.